there she is. Morning, everybody. Chad, Adler Farms. What's your fang, Smoke? What's your fang? I don't want to throw it. I want you to eat it out of my hand. I want you to eat it out of my hand. There you go. See how easy that was? See how easy that was? Now don't jump on me. Let's go. Let's go. Man, man. Go get him. Let's go. Get him, Smoke. What's up, boys? What's up? We gotta go quick this morning. I'll show you why here in a second. What's up, buddy? Look at her. Don't do it. Don't do it. Loving this thing. I'm gonna get another one later. There we go. No shell, sorry. Throw it over here. See if Lola gets it. Still sitting on them eggs. It ain't gonna happen, sister. Sorry. All right, let's see if the uh, beefy, oh, we can use the new gate. Let's go over here. No, I'll just drive. I know that seems silly, but I hear you. Like I gotta drive, so there's no point in point in not going this way. Whoop. Look how pretty. Oh, there's look, you can even see the beam of the sun coming through the forest. The forest. I mean it is. It's woods. It's not a forest. Still pretty. And there's a family of groundhogs that lives in there. And if you watch mom and dad's last video, I know they said that the deer ate their petunias. I don't think the deer did it. I think a groundhog did it. That's just my opinion. I don't know which one dad would let me eradicate. I think he'd be more partial to a... Grandpa would be more partial to a deer or a groundhog. Hey, let me know down below. Which one would grandpa save? You hungry, bro? Oh, geez. I can see spider webs. Yeah. Bit. Very grumpy cows for being on two pasture, two acre pasture. Very, very grumpy. Adler might call you guys Grumposaurus. Grumposaurus is 42. Listen. Adler takes medicine better than you take fly spray. Yeah. Yep. A little stinker. I'm coming back. All right. We'll definitely be back. Got a couple run. Got a couple run errands. A couple errands to run. Oh, air conditioning. It's a game changer. In my last video, venting about the air conditioner. If you haven't seen that, I know there's people without vehicles. I know there's people without cars. Okay. It happens. I'm very, very grateful to have a truck that can run out of air or have an issue. But I also pay a lot of money for my truck. So, yeah. It's all good. It's fixed. No worries. But we need a couple of cages and crates to put some critters in that we're gonna go pick up for a buddy of mine. Woo, spider webs, poison ivy, ticks. Boop. Hey, I'll be back.
This is crazy. We're all going to push back, and when we get so close, we're going to go over top. You ever seen guineas? I've seen the ones you had at uh, the other place. Now yours were white. Oh man. Yeah. Woo! Look at look over here. Wow, those are cool looking. Man, I tell you what, the, 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 oh, they got some ugly, ugly faces. Ugly faces. Oh, are they pretty? Their mamas love them. Their mamas must love them. Sorry, they're good looking birds. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guineas. Have you named them? Uh, Ralph. Ralph. And <laughs> yeah, Ralph is one of them. Are they male or female, or does it matter? I don't have a clue. Does it matter? Uh, not as long as they eat ticks. No kidding. I don't so, know. What do you we do? got well, we got these. We got six here and six here. These are adults. Okay. And these are the kind of they're not juveniles, but they're younger. But they've been what's called pinioned, and it has to do with clipping the wing or the joint or something. I'm sure somebody will tell me down below. Okay. But this it keeps them from flying. Okay. And it basically, hopefully they'll stay. So. Right. What do they? What do guineas do? Eat ticks. So they. Eat and they're ticks. good alarms. Oh, you said that. Okay. Ticks, and mosquitoes, they... grubs, everything. Have, you, I'm everything not sure I've heard a guinea sound off. See, I live eight minutes away, so I'm not really worried about how noisy they are on your roof. Well, how loud does it carry through the woods? I'm sure it does. If oh, not, man. they'll they'll come closer. If not. All right. Well, if one of them wakes me up, I'm calling you. <laughs> come get your guineas. Hey, and I know this, once they get loose, because we tried to catch those other two, yeah. you cannot catch them. Yeah. You can't catch them. They don't come to you. They're gone. Did you take them down there and put them in the... We're going to turn these loose. Just turn them loose when you get inside the fence? Yep. We're going to turn these loose. I may take them all the way to the goat shelter just so they have like an origin. Oh, and okay. And then these are going to a buddy of ours. We can't say where okay. yet. Okay. But these are not pinioned. They can okay. fly. Well, these guys are going to go in the in the uh, probably in the infirmary. In the infirmary. Or no, I'm sorry. These are going in the infirmary. Okay, and these are going to go into the uh, the goat area. The goat area. And we're just going to hope that they don't run to Grandpa Ralph's house and sleep on the roof. Yeah, I, yeah. What the guineas do when they they because they could come this far, right? Yeah, they could eat the rest of the petunias. Oh, oh. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm already in hot water over that. So let's. Uh, Let's not say well, that. Let's just hope they stay. Yeah, don't tell Grandma these are petunia eaters and they like flowers and azaleas and, mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. He's the one. Good grief. All right. Let's, uh, let's just sit him in here. Grab one, got it? Yep. The feathers, yeah, I don't know where we go, Okay, I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> There's a chicken in there. Losing its mind right now. Look at this. <laughs> Everybody's going, oh, it's up. Did we, did we have a meeting or something? Or decide what? What's going on? What are we doing? Right. Sassy's like, what in the world? <laughs> See, I don't know if they're boys or girls or male or female or not. Do you ever, do you ever know? I think when they lay eggs. And I'm sure the males make a different noise. So do they lay eggs like a chicken? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Sassy. Sassy?
Sassy, what do you think about that? <laughs> Just sit it outside the, <laughs> sit the yeah, sit the bucket outside. Hey, uh, pardon me. Pardon me. I wouldn't imagine. That's your roof at two o'clock tomorrow morning. Is that, the, is that what they do? Yeah. Wow. He's gone. <laughs> they're so much faster than chickens. Oh yeah, yeah, he's gone. And they're actually, they're very intelligent. Not that chickens aren't. Yeah. She's very confused by it too. But I tell you what I'm surprised about is that she's not murdering it. It always, it always amazes me that an animal will turn around and run into a fence over and over and over. Yeah, there's no hole there. I don't know if you just come this way like you do. Yeah. She's wanting us to come get it, but I don't... I'm not going to go over there. No, I think, I think it's best to leave her, don't you? I think for right, yeah, she's doing okay. I mean, if we saw something, I'd go over, but... Well, and at some point, we've always known this. Sorry if I'm yelling. We've always known at some point the puppy side would leave her. Yeah. And that, that guard instinct would come out. And she's actually a year old, the 20th oh, yeah. of this month. Well, she's just checking it out right now and smelling it. She's not trying to... It's almost like she's making sure it's not a threat. Now, it's shaking like crazy. Yeah. Smoking! Smoking! No, no. She's giving it a hug. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, I know. Sleeper hold. I know. <laughs> Smoky, come here. Smoky. Come here. Come here. That'll do it. Come here. All the way. Good girl. Come, Come here. No, no, no. Smokey. Smokey. Come here. Good girl. Thank you. She already did. Look, there she goes. She's probably like, hey, you know what? There's five more over here. <laughs> She's like, that's the most annoying squeaky toy I've ever met. I got to take a nap. I got work to do tonight. Man, look at that. No, what is this? I don't know. I'll give you five dollars to take a bite of it. Ah, no. So I believe, no, those aren't blues. Doggone it, I'm gonna have to look up. Those, when, I, when somebody says guinea, that's what I picture of. Right. You know? Now our buddy's getting, there's some white ones in there, I believe. So, or some blues, you I guess. You see a lot of them like Yeah, look, she, she couldn't care less. No, she, she's over it. Go, I guess the others are in the chicken coop. Yep. You stay over there and hang out. I mean, mm -hmm. there's plenty of places to hide. And, oh yeah. But now I noticed, he or she did not go up. They won't. They, That's they, the pinion thing. They can't. They couldn't get on the fence. There's on the fence and over. No, I doubt it. Yeah. But that's okay if they do. Yeah. We I'm just sure. need them to have. We need them to know there's like a, a territory. Well, I wonder. No. What's going to gonna be interesting is when the automatic coop door closes tonight. They roost up in trees. They do. They roost in trees, but. But if they stay in there, they stay in there. Yeah. I thought, I thought guineas were supposed to be more exciting. So far, it's the most boring bird I've ever seen until we <laughs> run them around the... I mean, we ought to get Smokey back over here and get some entertainment. <laughs> I know. Until <laughs> Smokey's chasing them. So our buddy's getting those, I think there's six. He said five, but I, I like even numbers. Our buddy's getting six of them, but my six are all in the chicken coop. I wonder what's going to happen when that door closes well, and Magneto's in there. Well, Magneto's <laughs> going to go to town. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, what? Look at him. He's always the man. She's the queen, but he's the king. Right there. Don't don't kid yourself. You tell him, big fella. See, I don't care how big that rooster gets over there. 
So for the time being, we've got Amsamani's and turkeys inside the little pen. And then our buddy's guineas inside the big hospital in the pen. How many roosters we got? 23? Two roosters over here. And I don't know, it looks there's so many. I, I don't know what you're doing. Are you got a, you got, it's, hey, you got a farm or something? I had a farm. You got a farm? Old McDonald? And Grandpa started a zoo. <laughs> so everybody in here is being happy, happy, happy. And honestly, it's actually going pretty well. Sorry, I'm shooting through the fence. It's actually going pretty well because it's dry. <laughs> Red, <laughs> Red is so happy that Mr. T is gone. And in typical goat fashion, they just eat whatever hits the ground. Straw, hay, weeds, poop, scratch, whatever. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to like run around and do cool stuff. You're not really doing anything. I don't get it. Even Sassy's confused. Morning, everybody. Morning, everybody. <laughs> Same video, different day. Hey, check out these tomato cages. Pretty handy. I'm not sure where mom and dad got them, if you guys want to know. Spider, spider, spider. If you guys want to know, let me know down below. And we'll, uh, and we'll make sure you guys know, so. And many of you have been saying that we need to transplant these blackberries and that's going to happen. But I am going to let grandma and grandpa do it. I made a decision about a donkey. I do not need a donkey because I can't stand guineas and it's been 12 hours. Holy cow, they're annoying. Finish this up. Oh. I can't find my Georges, but ooh, ignore, ignore that nasty scratch. Sorry about that. I can't find my Georges, but these are Muck Boots. I think it's Rocky Brands, owns Georgia and Muck and all that. So, still in the family. But these are some like, I can't even find these anymore. But they're a uh, real tree and they're called Mucksters. Yeah. Take a little look-see. Now here's something that's interesting. That's a strawberry plant. I don't know if it's gonna survive, but that is a strawberry plant. This is red bell pepper. That's a turnip. My goodness, that's a turnip. This thing was like, hang on. This thing was like dead. I mean, dead, D-O-A, dead on arrival. Here we have some stuff that grandpa can't remember what he planted. That's what happens when you're a grandpa. Collards, cauliflower. Cucumbers, no, squash, my bad. As we walk through the garden, whether you're watching my channel or grandpa's, whoop, if you see something, say something. This, uh, ooh. 
What is going on? Okay, we need some help. Why do my green beans look like this? What is happening to those leaves? Is that dirt? No, it's, it's, it's dirt. It's just dirt, watch. See? See how helpful you guys are? Yeah, nobody laughed at me. There you go. There you go. Cantaloupe, honey rock, something like that. This is Avalon sweet corn. It's doing swell. Grandpa healed a little bit of it up over there. I'm yelling because I don't know how loud the hose is. Watering from the bottom, can't you tell? And then, I'll tell you what guys, I may not be much of a gardener, but you guys were right about these potatoes. I'm a potato farmer, man. Look at this. Look at that. Irma Gersh. I got flowers on my taters. Look at that, man. What in the world? Chemtrails. <laughs> Stop it, the earth's flat. Almost fell off of it the other day. All right, so that's the garden walk. It's warming up already. Man. Ugh. I was texting my buddy Dutch yesterday. And he's working on some things at his property. I don't want to say what it is, but he sent me a couple of pictures. He was like, man, the rain. I said, I know, buddy. But we both laughed because here in the Ozarks, you know, I'm like in the, what they call the Springfield Plateau. And that actually stretches down to where Dutch and Kevin are. And they kind of live on, like all those folks in Oklahoma, they kind of live on an area where it's real cliffy. So in that hilly, H-I-L-L-Y, in that hilly range down there, they just get a lot of water. I mean, we get it and it pools up. Like if you look right here, the beefy boys, now yes, mom and dad brought in a bunch of dirt. I mean, a bunch, but they did not bring any dirt to the back of their property. I mean, the beefy boys, they're every bit of 20 feet lower than, than I am. So here, when it rains, we just get these pools, you know? And if you guys follow my social media, you know that we had a flood in our garage a couple weeks ago. Uh, we didn't, we didn't lose anything worth writing home about. So no biggie there, but I was talking to Dutch and it's like, you know, what's funny though, about living in this area, it rains for like April and May, not, not even so much April. It just pours through May and then mid June hits, which we're two weeks away from. And then it doesn't rain for like two or three months. And when it does rain, it's like a flash flood because the ground is actually so dry that it can't soak it up quick enough and it floods it's just really it's a it's a weird area to live in the humidity is something else in itself if you can tell i you know i sweat when it snows but you know i could also run a few laps not when it's like this <laughs> i was texting dutch and i was like man just keep working buddy you know which he wasn't down or worried about anything he's having the time of his life on that 40 acres the whole family is we were both laughing we were like man give it give it two weeks and we'll be praying that it would rain um so it's just funny but Anyway, I'm going to check off with you guys because I'm going to go meet up with grandpa and we're going to work on something over there at the farm and we're going to put it on his channel because um, it was his idea. He bought it. He paid for it. Uh, you guys know how grandpa is. If he sees, you know, grandpa and grandma both, if they see that Smokey needs something or the animals need something or they come up with an idea, I just get a text that says, hey, I just bought this off Craigslist. You're coming tomorrow to get it. <laughs> I'm like, all right, sounds good. Go watch these last two videos you guys are going to see at the end screen because they're still things for you guys to win can't say that g-a-w word and uh yeah go comment and enter and see if you can win yourself something and i got another one coming y'all be good don't work too hard don't make it weird god bless there's just see y'all